Hey y'all, hey Ferris here. I just wanted to let you know um, something that maybe is a point of view that not everybody's considered. Um, so I'm just gonna throw it out there because it's what happened to me and certainly it's happened to other people. Um, when I lost the ability to go outside of my home and interact with people in the community and run errands and just have a job and do anything like that, when I lost the ability to do that in 2012, um, guess what became my neighbors? Guess what became community and how I maintained relationship with them? Social media. The internet where at the time in 2012 we can't form real relationships on the internet was a big thing and when I showed up there were long established communities that are unable to meet in person that have been finding their neighborhood while on the internet and through the internet and through social media participating in their neighborhood for years for years before I showed up I'm not, I'm not even the hundredth person to say this so when you can't physically love on your physical neighbor and you can't go anywhere it feels odd and then you find community with people who are like you and who understand that and the place where those people meet is the place where they're able to meet which is on the internet so it's really ostracizing first of all to have to spend time in a community but it only ever be on the internet and then it's even more ostracizing when the people who still have abilities to and privileges and just like the ability to go socialize or even see people at their job in real life or even see their neighbors in real life then when people who do those things belittle and say you can't make a real friendship on the internet you can't make a real anything on the internet when they discount it does two things belittles the people that are in the group and ostracizes them more because it's not the norm but it also ostracizes generations that are younger that only know social media as the way of friendships. So if we want to be reaching out and understanding to the upcoming generations and like welcoming it, welcoming them up and helping them up because it's a tough, tough time right now for everybody. But if we want to have sort of like that, bring back that mentorship, apprenticeship, like kind of relationship into our communities and our society societies we're going to have to stop using language that discounts the importance of the internet in community making and in neighbor making we're going to have to stop using language that discounts that because that's the way of the future whether we like it or not and i am here to vouch for all of the positive things that can come from that and if positive things can come from it, then I promise you, the Lord wants you to have a hand and a say in it. Because if you don't show up there because you're scared of it or whatever, or the comments are outrageous, they are. I have a trick for how to deal with that mentally as well. I'll share that later. But if all these things are like, oh, I don't want to touch it, maybe consider you're not called to that space. Maybe you don't need to be spending time in that space, but pray over it. Because there are some of us who are called to spaces like this just like a missionary feels called to a country or all those kind of things the holy spirit can also call you to places like the internet or like a social media or whatever it is right and of course he, of course he can god cares about all his kids and that's the only way to reach some kid so that's all i was thinking we just got to be better about our language and um, letting people know that we see them and we care about them because that's exactly what Jesus did. Okay, that's it for now. Remember, I'm Hey Ferris and I love you. But remember, Jesus loves you most.